What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In this one, I have another screen sharing app for you. As you can see, my Android is already listed here. Uh, so there's this app over here. It is called uh, WebKey and I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, this is like the second or third uh, screen mirroring apps that I've shared on my channel. This one is probably the best one that I've shared so far, uh, mainly because of the security that it has. So you have to create an account. It's not like one shared URL. Uh, they give you a lot of access on what's shared. There's pans, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, there's email confirmations when logging in. It is just a really good app overall. You might ask, what good is this app? The answer is Waze. So uh, if you wanna use Waze while you're driving, uh, it is possible. So you can actually flip your phone uh, horizontal and you can get more of a screen. And remember, it's a web browser, so you can actually uh, zoom in. They also offer some other stuff. So there's like high touch, record, uh, you can decide your quality. So I have it on auto right now. I'm gonna set it to high. And you can see, I can zoom in. And this is actually Waze running. Uh, we can tap to start driving uh, on the actual phone. It won't work on here. Uh, and uh, basically, we have Waze running as if it's like native Waze. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna drive around uh, just shortly and I'll show you how it looks and how it functions. Okay. All right, so I have Waze here and I have Google Maps. I thought I'd go uh, all out and we have a front puppy over here. Uh, but uh, so I have Google Maps and Google Waze. So you can see maps here and this is just my phone running here in my dock. Uh, so Waze is set and you can see it's moving around. Waze is set to uh, a McDonald's and Google Maps is set for a uh, gas station. And you can actually see uh, Waze is moving around as such. Um, I'm having problems with my Waze. I don't use it all that often, truthfully. Uh, I use uh, the built-in Tesla screen thing, but I want to show that it was possible that you can share uh, map-related things. So if you want to use Waze, you can do it. But I thought this was something fun and different, uh, like a good use case of uh, how to use screen sharing to your car. Uh, let me show you another couple of good uses. If you plan to watch YouTube videos, it will be choppy, uh, not on your actual device, but on the screen because it shows up as still images. But in case you want to do this while driving uh, for passengers, not you, but like your passengers, you have people in the back and you want to show a choppy video, you can do that. If you have passengers in the back and you want to show them, uh, you know, my Twitter account, you can do that and it works well. Or maybe you want to access Chrome Remote Desktop. Use the uh, app on your phone, and now you have access to a computer at home, maybe. Uh, this used to work in the web browser. Uh, Tesla put a stop to it. Can't use it anymore. But, hey, this workaround works. So let me know in the comments below if you know any good uses for a screen sharing app. Again, I've shared two other ones, I believe. Uh, this one is by far my favorite so far out of all the ones I've tested and tried. Um, don't forget to leave a like on the video, do subscribe for more testing content, and most importantly, thanks for watching, I will see you guys next time.